January Smith. And I'm January Smith, and I'm transitioning from a past identity. I'm a future identity transitioning from a past identity to a present identity. And, and where are we? These are artifacts of the of that identity? Yeah, but somewhat confused and obfuscatory. Is it obfuscating? Okay. I'm not comfortable with telling the whole truth. I'm not comfortable with people knowing exactly everything about what's happening. So I can't tell you everything. Well, I mean, the first thing I immediately notice is whatever's going on, you found an excuse to put a couch in an art gallery. So I, I kind of like that. Well, I wrote a book about uh, the memories that you accumulate as a part from a past identity to take into a future identity that, w that formed you or any identity through that transition and this is an environment to um, this is an environment to spend time with the book really and then I worked with a composer who took the we did readings of the book and then he took the text from that and composed a piece to play in the room, to just fill the room so that you can, uh, so that it reflects what's going on in the book as well. And this is the book? Yeah, this is the January Smith book. Which I don't know if you want to mention your FedEx story, but that was kind of interesting. If that, well, when, that it, fits or not. when it was, uh, when I ordered the book from the printers, I, everything to do with this project, I've been January Smith to. Um, to carry the project through and then I ordered the book as January Smith and paid for it through my business so my business is company the company name paid for the book but the person picking it up is January Smith and there's no real person called January Smith so there was a problem trying to get they asked for ID and there's no person called January Smith or there might, there might be a real person. There are real people called January Smith. One of them is the one who has that. There's not this January ID Smith. Card. No, no. So, so the definition of real person is government ID card. To the people who, the administrative process of sending it to me, the, the product that I want, yeah, the FedEx people have, don't, they require government ID for everything. So uh, I didn't have it and I couldn't pick up the book without the tracking numbers and without all the, the email from FedEx to explain. This is for me. I might not be January Smith, but I am January Smith. So places like Facebook and Google Plus have real name policies that are the same idea that they want a government ID name. Yeah. Maybe with good purposes, like not having spammers or whatever, but they're also, whether it's a dissident blogger who's in like real life risk or just someone who wants to play with identity, yeah. They're creating huge, powerful platforms with pretty narrow constraints. Yeah, but I seem to have subverted that. I have an online Facebook account that's not my name. Okay. And, I mean, for a while they let you change your name, and then they said, you've changed your name too many times, this is the name you've got, and luckily it wasn't my real name. So now I, every, most of my friends know me and have connected, and many artists across the world have connected with this identity I created on Facebook, but it's not my name. And then there are no photographs of me. All of the photographs, like one of them is of me crushed under a tree. So you can see that there's a, if you know me, you know it's me that's being crushed under the tree. But if you don't know me, you wouldn't recognize me if you saw me in the street. I met somebody in San Francisco recently and she, and we've been talking online. She's a singer. And I went to her concert and we've been talking online and I was saying, I can't wait to meet you in person, it'll be so much fun. And then I met her after the show and she said, you're Elevum? I said, yeah, that's me. She said, I didn't think you would be this person because she'd constructed this identity or this view of who I would be from the name. Yes. And then I turn up in person and obviously I'm not even the person. So uh, it was a lot of fun. Well, I think a lot of our, per our perception of people is our projection onto them. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. So, you were, since she didn't know you physically, you were an especially blank canvas for her to project. Well, I mean, there's this, there's this method on Facebook, isn't there, where you can look through um, the photographs. You, we all post photographs on Facebook, and it's generally photographs of us with our friends. 
or mine. I don't have any photographs of me with my friends unless it's... Um, I'm trying to think what photographs I do have, but they're designed so that you see a part of me. If you know I've got a ginger beard, you'll know it's me. You know, because I'm pretty distinct visually. I can't be anonymous anywhere. I mean, the police can attest to that. I get followed around because I look like a homeless person, but, but uh, you know, people don't know me, don't know me still. And what's this thing with all the bells back here? This is, kind of delicious. This is the, um, <coughs> the cipher for the book that I wrote. It, because the book just lists all of these memories, and this book tells the story of... Um, this is the book that... I suppose you could say it obfuscates even more. Okay. Hi. But it also tells the story of what's happening in the bigger book. Because the, it's, like, it's called Duck Song. And this comes, I suppose this says, I'm sorry, but not to you. Now you should know something. There's this rabbit that lives there and nobody knows. It's just this brilliant metaphor for that dumb, drunken, incomprehensible word, metonym. And it kind of just tells you the whole thing is just a joke, really. There's, there's no, nothing that can be taken seriously, I suppose. Well, so everything or nothing, yes. Everything or nothing, yeah. Which is like what we do with art, isn't it? it yes. A hope. Everything's serious, everything's a joke, all at the same time. Yep, let's hope. If we're lucky. <laughs> there's, other, there's other bits sewn into it, but they're all kind of complicated. Hi. And do you want to talk about how you did the opening? I did the opening. I um, had a n no. No, I was really drunk and I don't remember very much about it. I don't, I don't, people have said that I wasn't here, but I'm sure I came to my own opening. Yeah, who wouldn't? Yeah, who wouldn't come to their own opening? You'd yeah. Be crazy. Of course. <laughs> so I must have been here, but I was just a bit drunk and I don't no, remember. No, no. 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 sorry. The camera died after 30 minutes, yeah. So it happened, but somehow it maybe didn't. Yeah. The, the, the opening happened because people came and ate the food and drank the tea. I made tea, so the tea was all gone, the water was all gone, but um, I don't remember a thing about it, sorry. So the tree fell in the forest and... The tree fell in the forest, something happened, yeah. <laughs> Did it happen? Well, they all say it happened, you know. The, termite, the, the tree's now gone, so the termites must have eaten it. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, good luck with your future life, January. Thank you very much. January, that's kind of a, a, an opening kind of name, isn't it? Yeah, and Smith the generic. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.